hello everyone welcome to the 17th lecture of this lecture series and in this lecture we will learn about Maxwell relations so what are Maxwell relations these are some equations equating the derivative of thermodynamic variables and this can be obtained by the symmetry of second order partial derivatives and from the definition of thermodynamic potentials the thermodynamic potentials we have learned in the previous video so just let me give one example of the maxwell relation and then we will easily understand what i am talking about one of the relation is del t del v at constant entropy is equal to minus del p del s at constant volume so this is one of the maxwell relations so as you can see one thermodynamic variable is differentiated with respect to another and that is equated with a similar kind of derivative so these are very important in thermodynamics the importance we will talk about later but before that we first want to see how this can be derived and a general standpoint of these equations so to begin let us say that f is a function of two independent variables x and y and it can be represented as a perfect differential okay so that means that we can write df is equal to m dx plus n dy where m and n we can easily derive from the fact that df is del f del x at constant y dx plus del f del y at constant x dy so from that we see that m is equal to del f del x at constant y and n is equal to del f del y at constant x and now if we take a derivative of m with respect to y at constant x that is del m del y at constant x that will be equal to del f del x at constant y del del y at constant x similarly del m del x at constant y will be equal to del del x del f del y at constant x constant y now from these two equations we can write del m del y at constant x is equal to del n del x at constant y so as you can see here f has a form of the thermodynamic potentials form is 
similar to thermodynamic potentials and where m and n are some thermodynamic variables which can be obtained by taking differentiation of f with respect to x or y which are independent variables so we have already seen that every thermodynamic potential for example internal energy gives free energy those can be written in forms of this and we can obtain a uh, thermodynamic variable as a differentiation now what maxwell relation tells is that this m and n they can be again equated with another quantity by taking differentiation with respect to the other independent variable so this formula can be used as a general form for Maxwell relations and if we want to know how to obtain this from this equation and this equation we can easily see that this is only achievable when del del y of del f del x at constant y at constant x is equal to del del x of del f del y constant x constant y so let me put a box around this equation this is known as Schwarz theorem and for quantities f which is represented as a perfect differential this is generally true so now that we have the basic foundation let us derive the Maxwell relations so as we have discussed here this f that we considered here is having a form like the differential form of thermodynamic potential so from each thermodynamic potential we will obtain one Maxwell relation so there will be total four relations so let us derive them one by one so first we will use internal energy and we can easily write it as du equal to dds minus pdv now we can easily identify that t is given by du dds at constant volume and p is given by du dv at constant entropy there is a minus so now we can just follow this equation or do the derivatives intuitively if we take a derivative of t with respect to v here so that will be del t del v at constant entropy that will be equal to del u del s at constant v del del v at constant t so this can be let me write it a bit clearly t 
this can be again written like so this is t and this is v this can be written from the source theorem so we obtain that del t del v is equal to this and now if we take a derivative of pressure so that will give us del p del t at constant volume is equal to minus del del t of del del v u s and v okay so i have made a small mistake here so this will not be t rather this will be s because we are taking derivative of v so s will be constant there is no t is not an independent variable in this case so this will also be s and s and we can see that these equations also need to be modified so this will be del p del s and this will also be del del s of del u del v okay so now we can see that this term here is equal to this term so from that we can write that del u del v at constant s then another partial derivative of this quantity with respect to a entropy at constant volume is equal to minus of del p del s as constant volume and del t del v at constant entropy so we have obtained the first Maxwell relation which is given by del t del v at s equal to minus del p del s at v okay so this is the first maxwell relation and let me put a box around this so maxwell relation one now we'll similarly derive the other threes so the second one is from free energy f and we know that it can be written like tf equal to minus pdf minus sdt so we will do the similar steps here but i will write less steps or jump a few so we can write minus p as del f del v at constant t and from this we can write minus of del p del t at constant v is equal to del del t del f del v t v similarly we can also obtain here that minus s is equal to del f 
del t at constant volume, which will imply del s del p at constant t is nothing but del del v del f del t at constant volume, constant temperature. So again, we observe that these two terms are actually equal the second partial derivatives of free energy. So this will give us minus del P del D at constant volume is equal to minus del S del V at constant temperature or we can write del P del D at constant volume is equal to del S del V at constant temperature. So, this is the Maxwell relation 2. So, now from enthalpy we write dh is equal to tds plus vdp So, similarly, in this case also, we are going to obtain that T is equal to del H del S at constant P and V is equal to del H del P at constant S. Similarly, we can obtain the third Maxwell relation by taking a derivative of this temperature with respect to P and taking the derivative of volume with respect to S. So, what you are going to obtain is that del T del P at constant S is equal to del V del S at constant P. So, let me put a box around this and this is the Maxwell relation number 3 and lastly we will obtain another Maxwell equation from Gibbs free energy which is obtained as G we can write equal to VDP minus SDT and from that we obtain del G del P at constant T is equal to V and del G del T at constant P is equal to negative S. So, again we take one another derivative. In this case, the volume will be differentiated with respect to pressure and the 
entropy will be differentiated with respect to temperature. So let us do that. So we will obtain del V del T at constant P is equal to minus of del S del P at constant T. So this is the Maxwell relation number 4 ok. So now we have obtained 4 Maxwell relations from 4 thermodynamic potentials using their differential forms and using Schwarz theorem. So now we need to answer the questions that why are Maxwell relations important? Why did we do this exercise. So, Maxwell relations are important because there are mainly two reasons. First is to observe that the thermodynamic variables are not independent. So this is one huge observation that all the thermodynamic variables they are not independent. For example, we can see that V, T, S and P, they are connected using this Maxwell relation number 4. So, that is one of the importance of Maxwell relation to help us see that all the thermodynamic variables are not independent. And the second one is to obtain thermodynamic quantities from other thermodynamic quantities. So basically this is related with the first one but we need to understand this also because there can be a, some system where you can only calculate the pressure and temperature. So, in order to calculate the thermodynamic quantities like volume and entropy, we can use some of the Maxwell relations and then we will obtain those thermodynamic quantities also. So, these are the two main reasons we use Maxwell relations and using these two will directly apply to obtain the TDS equations that we are going to see maybe in the next video what TDS equations are ok. Okay, so like the thermodynamic potential also, we will look into some mnemonics here. Okay, so the only goes like this.
so this goes like this COS process to verify and uh, this is the second part which is truly positive so how to retrieve Maxwell relations from this so again we can see that uh, SPT and PI is written in a different color so we start like this and uh, write the first terms in a clockwise way so serious process to verify so these are the differentiation that are related to the Maxwell relation and this is at constant t and this is at constant v and now truly positive is stating that if p and t are at the same side then positive sign like in this case t p and t are in the same side of the equation so there is a positive term here so this is one of the maxwell relations let me write it out a bit clearly So we can use this method to write the other Maxwell relations also. So one can be written like this. So this is at constant P, this is at constant T, and there will be a negative term because T and P are at the different side of the equation. So this is one, and this is two, and other Maxwell relations are also retrievable from this. formalism okay so we have concluded our discussion on maxwell relation next we will see a problem which appeared in iic exam we will see how maxwell relation can be used to solve that problem like we discussed here in the second point that some thermodynamic quantities which is obtainable from that we can obtain other thermodynamic quantities so uh, example of that will be given in the next problem okay so onto the problem. Okay. So welcome to the first problem of today's video. So this problem also appeared in IIC exam of 2013. No sorry it was IIC 2012. So this problem appeared in IISC 2012 and the problem states that a certain gas has equation of state P equal to alpha in square T by V square where P is the pressure and is the number of moles, V is the volume and T is the temperature, alpha is a constant. Now one mole of the gas undergoes expansion from volume V to 2V at constant temperature T. Now given that del S del V at constant T and N is equal to del P del T at constant V and N, the change in entropy 
the isothermal expansion is okay so as we can see we have been asked to use this formula here to calculate change in entropy during isothermal expansion from volume V to 2V and we can clearly see that this is a Maxwell relation where del S del V evaluated at constant T and an N is equal to del P del T evaluated at constant P and N. Okay. So we have the equation of state of the gas given by given by P equal to alpha n square t by p square okay so this is the equation of state so this gas is undergoing isothermal expansion so isothermal expansion where the volume changes from V to, to V. So our goal is to calculate the change in entropy. Now for isothermal expansion we have calculated the work done, the heat exchange, to those kind of things, but we have never calculated the change in entropy. So we are going to look into that, and we see that using Maxwell relation is very helpful for calculating these kind of thermodynamic quantities. For an isothermal expansion or any other things, we will see that uh, Maxwell relation are very helpful if you are trying to calculate entropy volume, temperature, or pressure. Okay. So first, this is the Maxwell relation given here. So first, we observe that in change in entropy can be obtained by integrating this. So before integrating this, we have to take this derivative. So let me do this step by step so that it is clear. So delta S, del V is equal to delta P, del T at constant V at constant T. So by using this value of this expression of P, we can write that P delta at constant V is nothing but n square alpha over V square, right? So now we have del S del V at constant T equal to alpha n square by V square. So integration of ds because here no t term is present so we can use this partial derivative and transform it to a normal derivative so integration of ds will be alpha n square v square tv and there will be integration term which will go from initial to final state and we can write integration of i to f ds equal to delta s which will be given by i2 f alpha n square by v square dv okay now we know vi is here v and vf is 2v okay so we can easily do this integration 
I'll find a square is constant from v to 2v, v by v square. We should give alpha in square. minus 1 by v from p to 2v so this will be alpha n square minus 1 by 2v minus 1 by v minus of minus 1 by v we should give plus 1 by v so this will be alpha n square by 2v okay so delta is for isothermal expansion where the equation of state is given by p equal to alpha n square t by v square is equal to alpha n square by 2v and you can take this as a homework problem to check whether the dimensionality of this expression is correct So you have to calculate the dimension of alpha from this equation and put it here to check if this part, the right hand side of the equation gives the dimension of entropy. Okay, so that you can do in a homework problem. So this is our answer. And let us check the options given. So we can see that none of the options which is which are given matches our answer so this is the correct answer and in this question no option is correct okay so i think we can stop this video here and in the next video we will learn about TGS equations and probably do some problems from that part also so that will conclude our topics all the topics for the jam and jazz syllabus from thermal physics part and after that we will just start some very basic uh, statistical mechanics and we'll see how many problems we can do from that part okay so in this video, we learned Maxwell relations and solve one problem to see how these relations can be applied to obtain the value of different thermodynamic quantities. Okay, so that is for today's video. So, bye.